All right, hello, my name is Christopher Godina. Um, today I'm going to be showing off a little bit of a tutorial showing um, off how to create a uh, flashing light that you can go ahead and put into any level really easy using timeline. I know that before uh, we've been using the different um, blueprint style to go ahead and uh, set up um, when the light flashes and when it flickers or things like that. So I just kind of show off, have these kind of different lights um, in your level, you can have them and change different colors, have them on any object, doesn't just have to be on the lamp or a light or something like that. It can be on any object, and it's really easy. So, first thing you want to go ahead and do is, I'll go ahead and change the only mode just for like purposes. So, go ahead and uh, go over to your content, go over to your starter content here. Um, props are really fun to mess around with. So, let's get something, uh, let's do this. I'll do this, uh, this big statue here, because why not? Go ahead and have that. Place it in, uh, into your level. Go ahead and uh, open up a new blueprint for it. Uh, give it a name. Just go VP underscore. We'll do flashing light. Or, yeah, I already have that on for you. So we'll just do flashy for right now. Uh, go ahead and create a blueprint. And you'll see this is the uh, prop that we set in our world. Now for this to work as a flashing light, you're going to go ahead and come up here to add a component. Go ahead and add one. And you're going to add a simple point light to it. So, and then you can go ahead and readjust this, uh, put it pretty much wherever you like, uh, just for general purposes, we'll put it right on top of the, the statue there. And that's uh, that's the light that will be given off uh, once you hit play. So, uh, after that, you can go ahead and go to your event graph, uh, ignore these notes here. I know we're really used to using these, but we're going to go ahead and move to the side, uh, right click, and we're going to use the uh, timeline node. So, use that, and go ahead and add timeline, and you can name this whatever you want. Just it flashing for right now. So have this, and then uh, we won't mess around with this for just a little bit longer. So just go ahead and double click it. What you're going to want to do is come up to uh, this flow track here, add a new flow track. Um, you can rename the track. So flashing light statue. Um, after that, so this is the, uh, the one that will be popping up. So for this one, for this uh, light, we'll just set it its length to one second just so we can uh, mark this off and have something easier to work with so what do you want to do now is set some um, some keyframes so you're gonna have to hold down shift left click and just set three random uh, keyframes here uh, within this one second time frame in order to uh, make that little flashing effect now what you want to go ahead and do to make that flashing effect so it will, it, will, it will turn on turn off turn on turn off so on and so forth go ahead and grab this middle one set its value to let's say 5,000 and set that, hit enter, and boom, you see it's completely gone. That's just in the value you got set all the way up there. All right, after that, you want to that's basically it. You're done with that little part. You're going to want to go ahead and hit autoplay. So every time you start your level, it'll play. Um, you're going to also want it to loop so it just doesn't flash once, turn off, and then not play again. So you have that to loop, and we'll go ahead and go back to the event graph. And as you can see, before we didn't have this flashing light statue node here, um, now we do. So going off of this one or not off of this one you're gonna go ahead and have a uh, look for another node so set intensity that's the thing we use for brightness so you have that so it'll come up with your point light that's already um, attached to your statue and it's fairly easy from here all you want to go ahead and do is hit um, this node to um, the new intensity have this update and have it click here and that's basically the gist of it you have this um, event here um, that will pop off once you play your level and after that, you should be fine. So go ahead and compile, save, go ahead and close that. And just for this example, you see um, that over here, I've already created the two that you saw before, but this is our new um, statue light. So this will be saved into your blueprints. Just go ahead and save, come up here. As you can see, it is a small light, but you can go ahead and it's flashing uh, right up there. But um, just for the, those kinds of issues, we're going to go ahead and uh, edit that blueprint. I know it was really hard to see, so um, in order to make that easier, uh, come off this node. You're going to go ahead and set color. So once you say, um, do set color, you come down here and set light color for point light, and you'll get one of these things here. And this will be re referring to the point light that we have on the uh, statue. And all you want to go ahead and do is set your new light color. Uh, choose a color that will really pop. Let's do red. How about that? And set this up to the brightest hit OK after that hit compile and save go on back out hit play 
we'll go up on here and as you can see it's still flashing right on top of the statue so I know regular light was really hard to see so you can just mess around with lights just like I did here you have a blue light there you have a green light here and you can go ahead and spread those all around your level as much as you want and it makes them for some cool effects and some flashing lights but yeah that was a tutorial it's that easy just to work with timeline um, you can do a whole bunch of other things but this is just a simple thing of how to add a flashing light into your level but yeah hope you enjoyed hope you learned something new and 